Today's video is about view binding in Android. After 3.6 version of Android Studio launched, they introduced view binding to use in your code instead of find view by ID. This feature allows you to more easily write code that interacts with views. So let's start the tutorial so that you will get more idea about how to add view binding in activity and in fragment. Here I have already created a project named my view binding app. This is the Java class. I haven't done any coding here. In the XML code, I have done some design as we don't have to waste time on designing. I will give you a brief description about what I have done here. I used a text view for the heading, an edit text, a button, and another text view, like hi name. In the XML code, you can see code for these all views. And ID is given to edit text. Please note this part as giving ID is very important. And in the heading text view, I haven't given ID. Button and the other text view have ID. Now I'm going to enable view binding in this project. For that, go to Gradle, select module based build.gradle. As per developer.android.com, I'm copying this code of build features in braces view binding and pasting it in the Gradle file. Then click on Sync Now. I pasted it inside Android. For each module in the project, you need to add this code in the module's Gradle file like this. Now in main activity, after the Gradle Sync finished, you will be able to use a binding class named like your XML file name by adding a binding to the end. For example, here XML file name is activity underscore main and binding class name is activity main binding. This binding class will be generated for all XML file in that module. Here activity main binding which extends view binding and create an instance for that as binding. In on create, we will replace the set content view like this. To set up that instance, call the inflate method included in the activity main binding class. Thus an instance of the binding class is created and we can use it in the activity. Now view view equals binding dot get root and a semicolon. This get root is used to get a reference to the root view. Delete the inbuilt code line for set content view and then pass that root view to set content view. Thus, that view will become the active view on the screen. Now you can use the instance of the binding class, that is binding, to reference any of the views like text view, edit text and button. Now I'm planning to use an onclick listener for button view. For that, I'm typing binding dot. Now you can see IDs of views are visible here so that we can use them. I didn't give ID to heading text view, so it is not showing in the list. Now I'm typing binding dot button, which is the ID of button dot set on click listener in on click function i'm planning to fetch the typed text for that binding dot edit text name which is the id of edit text dot get text dot to string and a semicolon and then i am assigning it to a string variable named name so when the button is clicked, text typed in the edit text is fetched and then display in the text view along with a high. 
Now I'm going to assign that name to text view. For that, binding dot text view one dot set text of name and a semicolon. Now another point I like to mention here is if you want to ignore a layout while generating binding classes, you need to add tools colon view binding ignore equals true to the root view of the layout file. Just for a demo, I'm showing it in the same XML layout. You can use this attribute in the constraint layout. For now, I'm just deleting that line and I will run our code to know whether view binding is working or not. The same code we have done using find view by ID is in one of my previous video. I will put the link in the iCard above and in the description box so that you can compare. This is our app. I am typing a name Jack and clicking on the button. And now you can see hi name changed to hi Jack. So now you know how to use view binding in activity. I will tell you the advantages of using view binding over find view by ID. View binding creates direct reference to views so there is no risk of a null pointer exception and there is no risk of a class cast exception as the fields in each binding class have types matching the views they reference in the XML file. Usually we used to get errors like incompatibilities between layout and our code. When you use view binding, there won't be any issues like that. And also it is lighter and faster than data binding. But yes, there are some limitations of our data binding like view binding can't be used to declare dynamic UI content straight from XML layout files. View binding doesn't support two-way binding. So in some cases, you may have to use data binding and view binding in a project. Now I'm going to show you how to use view binding in a fragment using simple example. For that, in the same module, I created a login activity and placed a login fragment in its layout with an ID fragment. And in the XML of login fragment, there is a text view hello fragment with an ID text view fragment. Now I am creating an instance for binding class. Here XML file name is fragment underscore login. So binding class name is fragment login binding. And I'm given instance name as M binding. In on create view, I'm calling the inflate method included in the fragment login binding class. This creates an instance of the binding class for the fragment to use. Using get root, get a reference to the root view. After that, return that view from the on create view to make it the active view. Then override on view created method. There we will use the binding class instance and will write the code to set text to the text view. Here type mbinding dot text view fragment, which is the ID of text view in the fragment login XML file. And then set text as hi. In the fragment, you also need to use on destroy view and there set binding class instance to null. This is to clean up any references to the binding class as fragments outlive their views. As you know, I already enabled view binding in the module gradle file. Then I changed the launcher activity in Android manifest to the login activity so that you can see the changes while I run the application. When I run the application, you can see text views text set to hi from hello fragment. I will provide the link to the developer.android.com explaining about view binding so that you can refer if you have any doubts. Please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe if this video helped you to learn a bit more. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.